Ah, hello, my boy. Hey, Professor. How are you holding up? Just fine, just fine. Preparations for the relaunch have gone swimmingly. Ah, great. So they're nearly done? Yes, we're really just putting the finishing touches on now. Wow. Can you believe we're about to try and take off after everything? I knew we'd figure out a procedure. But I would never have guessed at what it took to get there. Are you excited to see space again? Yes. But that's not to say I won't miss this place. It had a certain watery charm and plenty of scientific curiosity. But you know, I'm getting old. My real wish is to step foot on real ground. Yeah. It was nice to be outside of the fedora in the cave, but I suppose that's not what you're thinking of. Hmm. Indeed. I'd like to see the sky. But enough about me. How are you feeling about leaving Wii U and the Flimmelim? I know you grew close to it all. Yeah. I'm gonna miss Wii U. I'll miss it all. But this is our path, right? I think so, my boy. You'll always cherish the time you had with them. But don't you want to continue the mission? Get back to finding a real home? Yeah, it makes sense, I suppose. Do you think we will? I'm not sure. But what do we stand to lose? True. True. Have you said goodbye to Wii U and the Flimmelim yet? Not really, no. Well, no point putting it off. Saying goodbye only gets harder the longer you leave it. And so send them all my regards. Yeah, I know. I know. And Harold? Yeah? You'll miss Wii U, but over time, it does get easier. You'll be busy once we're back on course. It'll feel like a whole different life. I know. I know. every day. All water. We get you where you're going. All water compliments you on your choice of destination.
unsatisfactory journey for some reason, just contact your nearest and all water will make it up to you. Branded from the Municipal Freshwater Clarification Agency to all Madam CEO? Oh, please call me Brenna. First names are much less stuffy, don't you think? And as part of our all watery branding, we're taking on a new, more friendly persona. First name terms across the company for a less hierarchical feeling. What, even the secretaries? Yes, even them. How's the rebrand going then, Brenna? Oh, it's going fantastically. We're really committed to leveraging our past learnings to increase both public and shareholder value, while at the same time improving our corporate social responsibility mission. So what exactly is changing? What isn't changing? We're even going to have a new logo, obviously capturing the heritage of the original, but bring in a modern sensibility to it that reflects our recent, more transparent brand identity. Right. Will the tube fares be getting cheaper? I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to answer that. We're still workshopping our tube pricing strategy in line with our new aspirational corporate manifesto. I mean, after all... The logo redesign isn't going to pay for itself. Okay. And those past learnings you mentioned? Oh yes, a plethora of them. All sorts of actionable pain points and consumer-led recommendations. Like? Well, for one thing I can tell you, what we've learned is that people want excitement. So to make up for the loss of the cave as the tube destination, we're working on plans to recreate a cave-like environment in a disused wing of the ship. We'll call it Cave World. <sighs> okay, never mind. Good luck with all that, Brenna. Thank you. And Harold? Well done, you know? Oh, thanks. And hey, keep this between you and I. But I'm always looking for ambitious new blood. And you've proven you're a result-driven generalist. Knock on my door if you fancy a stint at all water. It's going to be an exciting growth period for us. A great time to get involved. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you, Brenna. Harold, hey! Can you believe this? <laughs> hey, Captain at Large. Or should I say, soon to be Captain for real? Uh, I guess Zoya will still do. But yes, I'll finally be actually controlling the ship as we hurtle through space. You're handling the takeoff? <laughs> Don't be silly. Cyrus has coded everything to happen automatically with split second precision. I'll just take over once we leave the gravity well. Amazing. I'm sure you'll do great after all your training. Yes. I can't wait to test my new skills out. Co-pilot Coco is excited too, aren't you, Coco? Ah! I'll be the best! I'll be the best! Oh, uh, ignore Coco. She gets a bit overexcited. Anyway, I want to get in some last-minute practice. Buckle up, Harold. I'll see you again amidst the sea of stars. Good luck, Zoya. Ciao, Coco.
travel in style with all water. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Hey, Kit. I mean, Yava? Eve? Hello, Halibut. We were just discussing whether to keep the Lightkeepers going. And how it's still needed. Weren't we, Eve? Yes, we were, but... It just feels like our previous mission isn't relevant anymore. And why go to the effort for no reason? It seems a shame to let it all go. Why don't you make it a public club? Like, I don't know, dedicated to learning the truth about lots of things. That is not a bad idea. Ah, I like it. I mean, people know the name. It'll be like our second phase. Ooh, and we'll need a new slogan. Maybe like, illuminating the vast blackness of mystery space with the light of truth. I think we're going to need something a bit catchier. I'm glad you're working it out. The Light Keepers have become a household name. Thanks, Harold. <sighs> you're pretty cool as grown-ups go. Glad to hear it. Just... Please, maybe stop with the graffiti now. Hey, just because we said you're cool, doesn't mean you can be square about our non-violent methods of public... Yeah, what he's trying to say is, we'll give you a break. No graffiti. For a long time, at least. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. Destination decided. Enjoy the view. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. Sunny. Harold, to what do I owe this unexpected pleasure? Just, you know, checking in. But with the launch soon, I guess everything will feel different soon. I know what you mean. Sunny's cupcakes will be no, for starters. Oh. You're giving it up? Yeah, now that the other restaurants are all restocked again. And to tell you the truth, I'm not sure Fedoran's ever quite got my baking style, you know? Ah, so something new again then? Yeah, you know me. A mind forever voyaging. <sighs> yep, that's the sunny I know. But I can't help but wonder, do you think maybe it's not the job that's going to make you happy? Huh? What do you mean, what else is going to make me feel fulfilled? It's a tough question, I know, but it just seems like nothing holds your attention. So maybe you need to channel that amazing energy into something else. <laughs> I'm not going to deny you're right, but what else is there other than learning new things? Well, the way I think about it is, even if you knew everything, you'd never have time to use it all. So. Find something that makes you happy, no matter how successful it is, or how good you are at it. Listen to you! When did you get so philosophical? I'm not philosophical. It's just... how I get stuff done, I suppose. Okay, Harold, you know what? I'll try thinking about that. I promise. Great. I'm sure you'll find it soon. Just one last thing. Tell me honestly, were my cupcakes any good? You could really taste the passion. But I guess passion tastes pretty weird. <laughs> Always honest and fault, eh? Well, I appreciate it. Anyway, I'm gonna figure out my next move. Next time I see you, I'm sure I'll be able to tell you all about it. Good luck, Sonny. And enjoy finding it, too.
The thing is, Warren, just because I'm unemployed, that's not what I'm saying. Now, now, come on, you two. There's no need to... If you'd all just follow my example, then what? Hey, everyone. So, planning the next performance? Not, I'm afraid, until we've resolved a little dispute. Oh, it's little, is it? I just meant... Typical, Warren. What exactly is the matter? You all just got back together. Yes. <laughs> it's complicated, Harold. We know you mean well, but I think you'd better leave us to it. Okay, Warren. So what were you saying? Oh, just that, you know, I've been there, man. Until you very much weren't there, you mean. Now, now. Eight, you don't always have to take the high road, you know. Eight, just chill. Warren, are you teasing me? You know my thing with dafts is medical. That's not what I'm saying. Now, now, come on, you two. There's no need to... If you'd all just follow my example... I can't anymore, can I? I was fired, remember? For doing my duty. Are you implying we're not doing ours? We were doing so well. And whose fault is it we're not doing well now? <laughs> oh, hey, Nigel. Yeah. How's fishness? I mean, business. That nah, could be worse, you know. But it about to get worse. I don't know. Why is that? Word is, Warren's water winners is taking over slippies. And that's some prime real estate. All them hungry bellies will fill up on winners before they get up here. Are they that good? Yeah, man. That's why I'm worrying. Then all you can do is focus on making your fish as tasty as possible, right? People can't eat wieners forever. Wise words, wise words. So, care to try any of my new f, -f, -f, -f fishy dishes? I I'd love to, but I can't stop right now. All right, all right. Well, you know where we are. Hello again. Hi! <clears throat> Let me guess. You're in a bad mood because of Water Wieners opening up shop in Slippy's old place. How did you know? Who told you? <laughs> no one. It's just after the way things have been going. Yes, it is bad news. You know, the extra choice might bring more people to the arcades in general. This could be good for everyone. Well, maybe you're right. At least those cupcakes are gone. Wieners definitely can't be as colorful as my colorfish soups! Hey, gang. Well, hello, Harold. Yo, Harry. Ah, oh, don't be so embarrassing, you two. Show some manners, young man. It's Harold. We go way back. Ah, uh, go easy on him. I remember when I was like that. I know, don't remind me. Oh, like I shouldn't remind you about some of your early wardrobe experiments? Your found fashion phase? You know Harold is going to be more embarrassed by the two of you than me. Oh, you want us to bust out some good Felix stories too, young man? Maybe some cute baby photos? Like the time you found my lipstick? Mom! Ah. But enough about us. How are you feeling about the relaunch, Harold? Uh, you know, it's really going to be something, isn't it? It's an awesome mission. It's what we've worked towards for so long. It's been a real pain stowing things from the store away. All true. I'm glad you three get to experience it all together. Harold, I hope you're not blue. 
We really are all in this together. Thanks, Bridget. I know. Anyway, I still have a few last-minute checks I should make about the energy flows. And Felix, don't you have homework to do? <laughs> okay, I'll leave you all to it. If I don't see you again before the launch, enjoy the ride. You too, Harold. Savor it. Have a good one, Harry. See you around. Or up! Good luck, Agent Harrelson! Rafi, hey, how are you feeling? Sad about not going back to the cave. Yeah, tell me about it. On the plus side, it taught me a lot. And when we launch, Allwater have offered me... It'll be good to be working properly again. And they'll leave you in peace to do it? Yeah, plus I've taken one of the kids as a game cabinet maker apprentice. Rafi, wow, you're so different. Not really. They're under strict instructions. Did it because they kept bothering me. This keeps them quiet. Sure. Sure. Not? What's good? Do you want to see my new composition? I'm just putting the finishing touch to it. Sure, let's hear it. Okay, here goes. Go easy. I haven't practiced that much. Ah, hang on. Okay, I, I know what went wrong. I'll get it this time. Right, right. Oh, I've got it now. One sec. Ah! It's that one chord. Let me try again. Stay. How are you getting on? Good, thanks. Especially now that everything has calmed down a bit. Yes! I was just relieved that I didn't cause Slippy any lasting damage. <laughs> yes. So, what are you up to before the takeoff? Just chilling. Spending a bit of time reminiscing. About Buddy? See, he was a legend. I keep remembering Station Jog number 64 when he managed to convince Moreau to join in. <laughs> what? Moreau? Yeah! She was more sprightly than I imagined. And surprisingly competitive. Buddy could get through to anyone, couldn't he? He sure could. <laughs> Recording that video with him was... so funny. I'm not sure I've ever seen him take anything so seriously. And the Bambinos loved him, too. They saw him when he delivered mail to the school? Also, he delivered guest lectures and workshops. About his job, but also station history, physical fitness, cursive, and sociology. I knew he was a man of many talents, but wow. So, what are your hopes for after the launch? It's a weird feeling I have. I was born just as the ship was crashing, so to see it relaunch... I feel so lucky. Blessed, almost. Like, I'm witnessing the circle close. And the kids? Oh, yes. It's going to be a great opportunity to teach the kids more physics as we go. Maybe they'll concentrate more if they can see some stuff. Stars. Maybe even new planets. And we're going to need this bright new wave of minds. You're the best man for the job, Chris. If anyone can make learning fun, it's you. Ha! <laughs> Thanks, Harold. Hey, what about you? I got all caught up and didn't ask. 
the same, I guess. I wonder how much will really change. And I'm gonna miss the cave. At least I got to spend some time there. It's just gonna be weird having only the fedora again until, well, if we find a new home. It's true. I didn't get to spend much time there, but I know you felt very connected to it, and the Flumlin. I know it must be tough for you to think about leaving, but it'll all feel very different once we're back up amongst the stars. Sure. Thanks, Chris. I'm sure you're right. If we just live in the moment, whatever happens will be enough. Right? Now you're learning! Hey, Warren. What's going on here? It's my new shop. Just a few more finishing touches to go, and then Warren's Gourmet Wiener Experience will be open for business. Oh, that's exciting. You feel confident? Certainly am. The food truck built up a bit of a cult following, you know. I couldn't keep up with demand. So it makes sense to expand into a brick-and-mortar enterprise. Hey, you don't want to be my maitre d', do you? I could use a people person like you. Oh, wow. Thanks for the offer, but I already have a job. I know, but do you want to stay apprenticed to the professor forever? Branch out a bit. You'll get three wieners every day and just wait until you try my new crispy wiener with seaweed sauce. It's a revelation of umami, inspired by the textures of the cave. That... that does sound delicious. But no can do, Warren. Thank you again, though. OK. Well, you know where I am if you change your mind. Detected. Please do not panic. Procedure will begin in three, two. Hey, Sai. Harold, what's up? Just doing my rounds. How about you? I'm just relieved. Waves and waves of relief not to have to be working on those calculations anymore. I mean, also total terror and panic that I'll have somehow still made a mistake, and will end up as a flaming metal stone skipping over the ocean surface. But, you know, mostly relief. Yeah, you worked so hard on it. I'm glad it didn't drive you mad. And I knew there was something off that was out of my control. Didn't I call it? I said it was as if time itself wasn't working. Or something like that. Didn't I? You did, Sai. And soon we'll be relaunching thanks to your plan. I know. I'm excited to get into space. But just the thought of taking off, knowing it's all based on my calculations. It's going to be a wild ride. Yeah. Hmm. I suppose we'll have to pack everything away. Yep. The stowing procedure is already underway. The ship is certainly going to feel pretty empty and cold for a while. I suppose I'd better start packing up my stuff. Yep. Sure, I'll speak to you again before launch, but just in case I don't, wish me luck. Don't we all need luck? Yeah, I suppose. Well then, good luck.
Destination determined. Now, relax with all water. Thank you for traveling with all water. Hi there, you two. What's up? What's up? Are you trying to be cool with the kids? What? No, I was just asking what you're up to. Don't worry about her, Harold. She's just upset that no one is giving her much attention now the relaunch is gonna happen. I am not! Or two! Hey, hey. So, you excited about growing up in space? Yeah, I think I'll dig it. I know that maybe there won't be much out there, but I'm hep to the possibility. And I'm sure it'll inspire plenty more of your awful poetry to stop us from getting bored. Hey, I'd like to see you write a better one. Fine, I will. Corey and Harold swimming in the sea. K-I-S-S-I-N. Please, shut up. And actually, I do have a new poem about relaunch. You want to hear it, Harold? Sure. It's a short one. Here goes. Jump! Don't let your feet touch the ground. We go round and round now. Up! We're gonna tear the big knight into shreds and put it back together again. In cool shapes, it's gonna be a blast off. Ugh. Very nice. You're a natural, Cory. Hey! No, I'm not. This level of genius takes work, you dig? Oh, Major. Halibut. Who's this? This is Frank. And he's made a new flounder. The flounder dynasty grows. Oh, I'm so happy for you both. Did Frank meet, uh... Halibut, I'll thank you not to pry into Frank's private life. Okay, fair enough. So, what actually happened to Slippy in the end? Oh, you know, he's being dealt with. The real question is, what to call the new flounder? dealt with? Is he standing trial? Well, it's a rather special case, if you must know. We didn't have any statutes for such heinous plans. But then again, his only actual infractions were tampering with all water property and forcible obstruction of public movement, along with a few counts of disorderly conduct on the way to the brig. So, what was the decision? The trial reached a compromise. He could be consigned to one night in the brig to think about what he's done, or intended to do, and then a 10-year sentence of community service. Oh, that seems fair, I suppose. Yes, he has a natural gift of the gab that we felt would be better put to use in service of various shops and services. So it appears Slippy Slipper is on the other foot. Yeah, uh, what? Justice has been served, Halibut. Now, I need to get back to thinking of names for the new flounder. Can I make a suggestion? Harold Flounderbutt. I will consider it. Hello, Gunter, right? Hi there, Harold. How do you do? Oh, not bad, thanks. How are you? Well, Harold, I'm rather peeved. Chris keeps telling me I'm too young for a proper job. But I'm doing so well at the pharmacy, they want to keep me on. Well, you seem like a clever kid. You must want to finish your studies. Of course, but I learned so much while behind the counter. You're a grown-up. You tell me. Do you use every single thing you learned in school doing your job? Um, no, I suppose not. But then, I never had a teacher like Crit... Mr. Tinnebaum. Maybe I'd have learned more and got a different job if I had. Hmm. I just fit in there and feel like I'm being useful. I want to keep going. I'm probably not the best person to ask about career advice, Gunter. But just talk to Cri Mr. Tenerbaum. I'm sure you can work out a compromise. I suppose you're right. There may be things I don't know I need to know to be better at the pharmacy, after all. There you go. And how about you, Harold? Oh, I'm keeping busy. Just doing what I can to help get everything ready. 
keeping busy to keep your mind off things? Everyone talks about what good friends you and Wii U have become. Is it going to be very hard leaving Wii U and the Flumilim behind? Uh, so sorry, Gunter. I have an appointment to make. I mean, to catch. That I've got to go to. Good luck with everything, though. And I haven't told you with what? Bye bye. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. All water. Moving people every day. Water, we get you where you're going. Hey there. Hello, Harold. Enjoying the atmosphere? Sure. Very normal and nice. What are you up to? Just on my way to water some moss. You want to join? Oh, thank you. But I can't. I'm... Well, I'm leaving, actually. That's okay. Have a nice time. Dito chick. Hi, I'm just going to the Maogaraha. Oh, lovely. Is it good right now? <laughs> I will know when I get there. I'm gonna miss it. It's okay. I think it will still be there for a while. No, I mean, uh, when I leave. Huh. Yes, silly. You can't be in two places at once. See you there soon, maybe. Yeah. Enjoy it. See ya. Hi, hi. Hey there. How's Karagul? I'm getting the hang of it. 
How's yours? Good. It's jelly time. Oh, cool. Any new ones recently? I'm working on one, actually. Okay, so how are they actually made? Come on, I'll show you. Ah, I'd love to see. But I'm pretty much about to leave. Oh, anywhere nice? Maybe. 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 Good luck with your jelly. Thanks. Have fun with your next place. Fedora doing? Yeah, nearly there. Are you excited? I mean, it is exciting, but it's gonna be so hard leaving you behind. And this place, just, yeah, maybe we'll find a new home out there, but also maybe not. At least not in my lifetime. You know? I don't know. You will or you won't, but at least you will have the chance. Hmm. And of course, I will miss you. We have true Simbo. We all will. But we're just happy we could help with the energy and everything. Yes, we couldn't have done it without you all. And I couldn't have done it without you, Wii U. And I would probably be a cold non Wii U if you hadn't helped me get better. Everything has changed since knowing you. It will be hard to remember Tidamo now. Maybe I'll go exploring a new part of the ocean. <sighs> Can you believe how lucky we were to even meet? What? I always thought this luck you all have is a very strange thing. You do a thing, or you don't. But what if a thing happens to you that has nothing to do with your own actions? I don't understand. Life is like a tide, you know? It's not always obvious where a tide comes from, or is going, or how it connects to other tides. But if you are you, you go with the tide, or you go against it. Sometimes it doesn't matter if you try not to go with it, sometimes it does. Wii U, the fedora is nearly ready to launch. This is going to be the last time we see each other. I know, Howell. I don't know what to say. It's okay. Remember, Simba. We'll always have it. Thanks, Wii U. We will. Hope you have good tides. And you, Wii U. And you.
on the ship. You don't want to miss it taking off. Yes, I do. Oh, you mean... I want to stay. I know it sounds crazy, and I'll be the only human here, but... No, it's not crazy. It's just you. I would love it. But are you really sure? Will you miss everyone else more than you want to stay here? I'm sure. I've always gone with the tide, but now I want to break out of it. Choose a tide for myself, and not the one that leads up into cold, empty space. It's the first time I've ever really been sure of anything. I believe you. You found your blugalugalugal. Yeah, blugalugal simbo. Blugalugalugal simbo. Professor, there's something I need. Ah, Harold, how did it go? Well, fine, but... Great. We don't have much time. I could do with some help sorting the final, final preparations. Jeanne, I'm not coming. Okay. It's only natural you're emotional. I suppose I can finish things up by myself. No. Professor, I mean, I'm staying with Wii U. Oh. I'm sorry. Can you understand? Harold, I've grown terribly fond of you, but if I've learned anything about you, it's that you always defy expectations one way or another. So, you're not angry? Angry? Dear boy, I'm delighted. I will miss you like I miss my left hand. But if you've finally found something you feel strongly enough to shout Jeanne at me, then I'm happy for you. Thank you. I'm gonna miss you too, Maron. You've always been there for me. I wouldn't be making this decision if it wasn't for you. In a nice way, I mean. Ha! <laughs> I know what you mean. Have you thought it all through? Do you need any help with the, uh, practicalities? Not really, but what is there? I'll just take a few of my things. 
The floor limb have all the materials I'll need there. I'll get settled in no time, I'm sure. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Yeah, guess it is. Be safe, Harold. Wish us luck. I'll do one better. I'll wish you good times. <laughs> Very funny.
Ich bin ein großer, alter Stein, ausgespült von den Gezeiten. Löse mich langsam in einzelne Teile, zerstreue mich in tiefen Weiten. Ich liege stumpf am Boden, möchte leicht sein, aber bin so schwer. Möchte trockener Staub sein, hochgehoben, vom Wind getragen übers Meer. Möchte landen auf fruchtbarem Boden und tanzend in der warmen Sonne. Möchte ich ein grüner Strauch sein, erhoben, meine Früchte tragen mit lieblicher Wonne. Doch weit über mir zerschellen die Wellen der dumpfe Donner, erstickt mein Ruf. Nach der wohltuenden Kraft des Hell, das uns einst alle schuf. Ich möchte leicht sein. 